And like I said, I walked into the, I walked to the bathroom and I peed and there was no toilet paper. So I hollered, Gail, I gotta have some toilet paper. So she reached it through the door. And um, I came out and I said, I'm gonna fix me something to drink. And I went in the kitchen and that's when I heard the door shut. I said, well. Greetings and welcome to the Crime Circus Cult. My name is Drip Drop. And I present to you Tracy Jones' first interrogation. She was a 38-year-old woman dating an 18-year-old man. Tracy Jones liked young men, and Michael Brett Kelly liked older women. <laughs> Some of you out there doubted I had this video. Some of you doubted I'd be able to obtain this video, but I've been proving my doubters wrong for over a whole year now. And to the ones that believed in me, thank you. I appreciate you. It feels good to be believed in. It's not always easy to obtain these videos, but I try my best. Anyways, a quick recap before we jump into this interrogation. I've already posted Michael Brett Kelly's interrogation right here in Crime Circus. It's got over 70,000 views. That's the 18 year old who was dating this 38 year old who we're about to listen to in this first interrogation of hers when she was brought in for questioning in regards to the theft of nearly $2 million and the murder of Gail. Anyways, anyways, a very quick recap on this case. Tracy, 38 years old, worked with a 58 year old woman named Gail. They worked at an office together. Gail was in charge of finances. She had access codes and the passwords to be able to do large transfers. So Tracy and her 18 year old lover came up with this crazy plan to steal all this money from the company. So Michael Brett, Michael's sister Courtney, Tracy, and a man named Keith Dozier all decided to do some type of home invasion robbery that ended up in murder. And Michael Brett Kelly did some real evil things to that 58 year old woman, Gail. I'm not gonna exactly say what he did, but I'm gonna beep it out because he beeped her. And then he took her life. He's a cold blooded killer, ladies and gentlemen. Tracy Jones was basically the mastermind behind it, this whole plot. And they thought they could get away with stealing millions of dollars. And I believe she only ended up giving Brett Michael about $12,000. They had their passports ready and they were ready to flee the country. These were four dimwits, four uneducated, dumb criminals that took a 58 year old woman's life for no reason whatsoever other than greed. Anyways, make sure bell notifications are turned on. Make sure you subscribe to this new channel. Smash the like button for me. Leave me a comment. And you know I've got more videos coming for this case. So stay tuned for that. Now let's jump right into this and see what Tracy Jones has to say for herself during this first interrogation. Seventy-four. And what's your address? Uh, five five seven seven. Apartments or? Mm -hmm. Seventeen fourteen. That's the apartment number. Yes, sir. What are the name of those apartments? Rutland Corners. What is your telephone number? Uh, four seven eight. One six nine zero. One six nine zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what type of vehicle do you drive? A Honda Civic. What color? It's silver. Okay. All right. Um. Now you work for Mr. Pinkston. Pinkston mm -hmm. Law Group. Pinkston and Associates. P Pinkston and Associates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. How long have you worked there? Since August of last year. Since August of last year. Mm -hmm. Um. Now let's go back to Thursday night. Okay. 
Okay. Um, where were you at Thursday night? I was at home. You were at home? Mm -hmm. Okay. Was anyone there with you? My kids. Your kids? Mm -hmm. how, uh, how many kids do you have? Two. Okay. How old are they? Uh, 17 and 15. 17 and 15. Okay. And you were there all night? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, Friday morning, what time did you get up? Um, About, it was about 5, 45, 6 o'clock. Where'd you go from there? Um, I got up and I told my work that I had to drop a friend off. But the thing is, is I take lower tabs and I didn't have any. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine had told me that there was somebody, this guy on Holly Mill that sold lower tabs. Mm -hmm. So I thought, figured I'd drive over there, see if they were up, see if I could buy some. So when I pulled down the road, the, um, there was no lights on. So I turned my car off and then kind of... You know, I've never been there before, so I kind of got a little scared, turned my car off, just sat there for a minute. And I went and turned my car back on, and the, I guess the battery cable was loose, and it wouldn't crank back up. And um, so I sat there for a little bit, and I knew Gail lived there, so I walked over there, and um, she came to the door, and I asked her if I had to have something to drink, and I had to pee really bad, so I went and peed. I peed first, and then I went in there and fixed me something to drink. She said, well, I got to get ready. She really didn't act like she wanted to talk to me much. So I went in the kitchen and I fixed me something to drink and I said, well, I'm gonna go try my back, my thing again, because I probably if I wiggle it, I can probably get it to crank. Mm -hmm. Well, she, she had shut the door, so I'm hollering at her through the door and I said, if I don't come back, you'll know I got it crunk. If I come back, you might need to take me home. And she said, okay. And I walked back to my car and messed with it and got it crunk and I left. Who was with you? I was by myself. You were by yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were going to Holly Mills? Mm -hmm. they, I think that's the name of that road, Holly Mill, Mill Holly, something like that. They told me it was a third house on the right. Who's they? A friend of mine. Who's the I friend? mean, they told me this like a long time ago. I just never Who's the friend's heard. name? Excuse me? Friend's name? Brandy. Her name's Brandy. Brandy what? Fulford. Not to spell her last name? F-U-L-F-O-R-D. F U L F O R D. Okay. Did you call her that morning? No. Okay. I just figured I'd take a chance and then, but I chickened out. I couldn't get to the door. What house? Which house? They said the third house on the right is what she had told me. And his name was Eric. That's all I knew. And the house was supposed to be on what street? Holly Mill, I think is the name of the road. Holly Mill. Mm hmm. How long have you known Gail? Since I worked, started working there. How's your relationship with y'all? Oh, we were great. Y'all were good together? Mm -hmm. Okay. How did, I'm sorry. how did you know how to get to Holly Mill? Which isn't the street name, but it's close. Okay. How did you know how to get there? Well, they, she kind of explained to me how to get there one time. I knew to go across and to take a left, and there was going to be a sharp curve, and then it would be on the left. What road did it run off of? Uh, I... I I don't know. I just know I went down Auburn Mill, Auburn Mill, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I went straight across, and then I took a left, and then you know where it forks? I took that right. Okay. How long ago did she give you these directions? You said it had been a while. Uh, three or four weeks ago. Oh, okay. Well, to me, that's that's not a while, I yeah. guess. Um, okay. That's okay. Uh, How did you know where Gail lived? Because I've me and Gail's hung out before. Yeah. I've been at her house before. Okay. Right. When you say hung out, what do you mean? Well, like I went over there one afternoon. We had a couple drinks. What do you like to drink? Wine. She liked margarita or martinis, but I drank wine. I don't really drink martinis. What kind of wine do you drink? Uh, red wine, white wine. You drink liquor? Every now and then. What kind of liquor do you prefer? Vodka. Vodka. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you was over there hanging out like that? Um, it's probably two or three months ago. We've been so busy at work, we hadn't really had a chance to do anything.
who I was over there with you. Just me and her. Just you and her? Mm -hmm. How is uh how's Gail's demeanor been here lately at work? Um, I don't know. She's been a little strange lately. Like she put our check stubs out on our desk on Thursday and she never does that. Mm -hmm. Um she never, she didn't have none of the files ready for to close on that Friday and usually she at least has we have a sheet <coughs> on top of all of our files that you know, we have to write all the information down and she didn't have none of those done. Um, she had been sick Wednesday, I knew that. She didn't feel good. She had some kind of episode where her arm kind of went numb and her head was tingly or something like that. She she was she was she was angry at Calder. She was mad at Calder because he was never there. And he had promised not to do I'm sorry. I'm He had promised not to do the politics in the morning. And I think he was still, you know, dabbling in it and that pissed her off and now you went inside the house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever use her phone? No. You never used her phone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what was Gail wearing that morning? I believe she had on like an orange top. Like I said, I really can't remember because like I said, she came to the door and I told her what happened about the car and she said, okay, well, I got to go get ready. And she hauled butt back to the bedroom. And like I said, I walked into the, I walked to the bathroom and I peed and there was no toilet paper. So I hollered, yeah, I gotta have some toilet paper. So she reached it through the door and um, I came out and I said, I'm gonna fix me something to drink. And I went in the kitchen and that's when I heard the door shut. And I said, well, undoubtedly she don't want me back there for some reason. What so the door shut? The, the hall door. And, you know, you come in her front door, there's a hall door. There's a hall. She had shut that door. So I said, well, I guess you don't want me back there for some reason. Where'd you pee at? In her bathroom. Like, there's a room here, a room here, and I peed in the bathroom right there. The hall bathroom or the bedroom? The hall bathroom. Hall bathroom? Mm -hmm. But you said she shut the door to the hall. But I peed first. And when I came out, I went in the back into the kitchen and fixed me something to drink is when I heard the door shut. So I hollered through the door. I said, well, I'm going to go try my car. If I don't come back, you know, I got it. If I come back, I might need you to take me home. And she said, okay. And where was your car right now? It was right in the, in the, there's a little dead end thing right there. It was right there. You were by yourself? And when your car started, where'd you where'd you go from there? I went straight home because I had to hurry up and get ready to go to work. What time of the morning was this when you were over at Gail's house? It's about six forty-five. Six forty-five. Six forty-five or seven, somewhere around there. Okay. And I was probably not even there. Probably not even five ten minutes, just long enough for me to pee, and I got me something to drink. And... All right. Was there anyone with Gail? Mm -mm, nobody was it. Not that I know of. Now, I didn't go in her bedroom, so I don't know. But not that I know of. You didn't hear anyone else in there? Mm-mm. What did you fix yourself to drink? Water. Plastic cup, paper cup? It was a, pla a, a green cup. Green cup? Mm -hmm. You drank the water? I drank, yeah. I mean, I took a couple swallows of it. What did you do with the cup? I put it in the sink. Put it in the sink. When you when you showed up at her house, back door, front door. Front door. Front door. Mm -hmm. Okay. How'd the house look? It was. It looked clean. It did. Mm -hmm. There was kitty cats running around, her doggy running around. Was she still in her pajamas? She uh, had work clothes on. She did. Mm -hmm. Do you recall what they were? No, like I said, I think she had kind of an orangey top on or something, but I, I can't really remember. How was she, her demeanor that morning? Well, like I said, she, she came to the door and I told her what happened and she's like, okay, well, I gotta go get ready. And she just took off to the bedroom. So we really didn't get a chance. Besides that, her handing me the toilet paper. I, when you I, said that she was getting ready, you assume she was referring to work? That's what I assume. Okay. And then when you left, you went home. Mm -hmm. I went straight home and got ready. Got ready for? For work. I had I got ready, took my son to school, and I went to work. Okay. When you were who, when you got to work, who was there? Um, Patsy. Was she the only one there? I think she was the only one there. Yeah. 
because Van don't get there to about nine and Colorado and not that. What time did you get to work? It was about, about, about eight thirty, I think. What time are you supposed to be there? Eight thirty. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Considering you live on House and Road, right? Mm -hmm. Way out that way. Mm -hmm. And where you were going is way over this way, mm -hmm. which is closer to... Right across the street from your work. work. Why wouldn't you have gotten ready for work and then stop by there to get the lower tabs on the way to work? I, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I knew I had to get my son to school. I figured I'd have time to run over there, run back home, and everybody get ready and go. Did you walk directly at two gales when you when that morning? Uh huh. You did. Mm -hmm. Okay. You didn't knock on any doors or anything like that. Uh huh. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? No. You know mm -hmm. anyone you see regularly? Mm -hmm. No one at all. Been by myself since August. When your car broke down, how did you know it could be the battery cable? Because it does it often. And why didn't you check it right then? Well, I don't, because I had really thought about going to the house and. And a lot of times, if you just let it sit there for some reason, I don't know if I just kept trying, it won't do. And I was kind of scared Gail had saw me ride by or something and be like, well, what is she doing over here? You know what I mean? Why I was, would you care? Because I didn't want her to know I was going to buy floor tabs. Well, she wouldn't know. She would have asked me what I was doing over there. <laughs> I was driving by seeing a friend. Well, I know, but I didn't. I... Did... Gail ever use prescription pills? Not that I know of. Not that you know of. Mm -hmm. What other type of drugs do you use? And this is not a dope case. You can just feel free. You won't get in any trouble. Just feel free to, you know, you know be honest. I mean, sometimes I do coke if I go out, but that's not often. Okay. That's um, very rarely. Hard or soft? What do you mean? Crack or powder? No, not the powder. Powder? Yeah. Okay. If you go out, you mean? Like go out partying or whatever. Where did you generally go? Uh, downtown. All right. Any place frequent? Uh, you know, foul play, bottoms up, or like that. Who do you go with? Uh, some friends of mine. Okay. How often do you go out? Um, sometimes I go out every weekend, but I don't do coke every weekend. No, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I've been I, this first time I've been single since I was seventeen years old. This past year, so. Okay. Were you divorced? Are you divorced? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Friday, now after you get got to work, you were at work all day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. we were very busy. What time did you get off from work? About 5.30. Where'd you go from there? I went home. Okay. My son. Man, my son. Yeah, I went home. Directly home? Mm-hmm. Where'd you go from there? Um, st We stayed at home until... I don't know. We went bowling about 9.30. We went to the bowling alley in Warner Robins. Okay. Um, the bowling alley in Warner Robins? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because they have the cosmic bowling and the kids will like it. Mm -hmm. Why was your kids were reading? Huh? Your kids were reading? Yeah, my, two of my kids and then uh, one of his friends and his girlfriend and then her friend. Okay. What, um, can you tell me anything about the kind of relationship that Calder and uh, Gail had? I know they were very close. Uh -huh. Um, I, I always thought they had a thing until Calder started seeing Rebecca. And then when he started seeing Rebecca, I don't know, Gail and Calder's relationship kind of got a little different. Why would you say that they had a thing? I thought they might have had a thing. Well, you know what I mean? Why did you think that? I don't know, just because they were so close. You know what I mean? She's worked there for so long, and it's just not my thought. She'd get mad at him. You know, you know how you can kind of tell when a woman likes a man. Who is this Rebecca? Rebecca West. She's uh, called her girlfriend. Okay. She works at the bank. What bank? bb and T, I I believe. Which one? I don't know. I have no idea. Where does Calder live? Um, I think he lives in River North. River North? I think. I'm not sure, though. Have you ever been over to his house? No, I haven't. 
<clears throat> no, Patsy does all his running around. Okay. So the last time you were at Gail's house and y'all were having a couple of drinks was two or three months ago? Mm -hmm. How often would you say you did that? We just, we've only done it twice. Well, and then we went out, me and her and Patsy went out one night to Bonefish and had, had drinks. Gail was a real private person. Mm -hmm. She didn't want she didn't want people knowing her business. Like she didn't even want Patsy to know that me and her were as close as we were because she thought Patsy would get jealous. You know what I mean? She was she was very a very private person. She wouldn't tell Patsy that some things and she wouldn't tell me some things. Well now and I mean these are just questions I have to ask, okay? I understand. So don't get offended. When you said that y'all were as close as you were, how close do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, like, how close? I mean, we were friends. We talked and... Anything more? No. Okay. You get where I'm going? Oh, I understand. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Did you ever, did Gail ever speak with you or, or to add, say anything about some, uh, any guys that she was seeing? No. Maybe I know about the one guy that she, about four or five years ago, she paid all this she paid for him to go to Florida, paid for all his furniture. And I know about a year ago, he tried to contact her and she told him to leave her alone because he took so much money from her. Well, who's that guy? I don't even know his name, but okay. but uh, I know. That I think that was probably the last boyfriend she's had. Have you called her and, um, have you and called her been over at Gail's house together? No. Okay. Me and Calder's never really been anywhere together. Okay. How do you feel? How do you feel? You know about your relationship with Calder? I'm going boss, and that's about it. Not close. <laughs> no, not really. Okay. You're like home? I said, he's not there a lot. Have you ever gonna call her to go over to Gail's house? Not that I know of. Now he did mention on Friday that he wished he had went over there and checked on her, and um, but I don't. I don't. Yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't really know too much about them two's relationship. When did you see him Friday? When um, did he get to work? Patsy went and picked him up, but I don't know what time it was. Was it still morning time? Or was it like after lunch? It was morning time. Because we had closings and he was there, I believe, before lunchtime. And what was his, how was he acting that day? Anything stand out? No, not really. He just, he said he was worried about her. And, and why um, was he worried about her? Because she she does not like her not to come to work. It's not like her not to come to work as busy as we were. And he said he he wondered if he should go over there. And um, that's that's pretty much it. He didn't. He was just worried about her. Did you tell them that she had been over to her house? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you tell them you had a friend with you? Well, because I didn't want them to know I was picking up trying to pick up lore tabs. So I was like, well, I had to go drop a friend off and. Why did you tell them that you used her phone? I didn't tell them I used her phone. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. Undoubtedly, they misunderstood me. Because I didn't use her phone. Did you have your phone with you that morning? Yes, I did. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, they said that she even went so far to say that her phone was dead. I think so. And you said she went in the house, but... We were told that you said that you didn't go in the house. No, I told them I went in the house because I even told them I had to pee. I mean, we're just oh, I know. telling you what you know what we know, what we've been told. Uh, now, when you were when you've gotten together at Gail's house, has there ever been anybody else invited over? Mm -mm. It's just you and her. Yes, sir. What did, I mean, did y'all have drinks? I mean, yeah, we just had a couple of drinks. Okay. Yeah. Did y'all talk about anything in particular? I mean, tell me about that. Not really. I mean, she talked about her grandkids, and I know her neighbor was real, real close to her. He did a lot for her. Like, if something happened to the house, you know, he'd come over there and fixed it. And she'd tell me stuff like that. And she always talked about how she wanted to move to Savannah and be with her grandkids, but. She didn't think there was no way she could. She could afford it. I mean, it was that's stuff like that, just normal girl talk. Mm -hmm. 
did you stop anywhere that morning, Friday morning, when you were on your way over there? Mm -mm. Nowhere at all? Mm -hmm. You went directly there? Mm -hmm. And what was the route that you took? I uh, went down the interstate and then went down Vinyl. And turned on? Alper Mill, Alper Mill, I think that's the name. Okay. Yeah, Alper Mill. Mm -hmm. You ever been to that house before? No, like I said, I, that's why I kind of got scared. There was no lights on. And, okay. and as far as I know, maybe she was just saying that. I, you know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I kind of chickened out. Why did you need lower tabs that morning? Because I didn't have any, and I am and I'm take them every day. You do take them every day? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, where do you normally get them when you run out? I mean, My doctor, um, and I... Actually, I think one of my friends stole some out of my pocketbook, mm -hmm. and um, so I just kind of tried to take a chance. My grandma giving me some sometimes if I need them. <coughs> you didn't think it was kind of funny that the... To me, it's just strange that the house you were going to is right there in the same block as Bill's house. Well, I, did, I mean, I really didn't realize it at first until I got over there, and I was like, oh... What's well, right there? And yeah, I mean, I, of course I did once I got there. Once you got there, and you realized it was there, the house was there. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, once I turned on the road, I said, oh, well, that's the girl lives right there. And Calder told us that night that you had never been over there before, that you didn't know where Gail lived. I know where Gail lived. Calder, might, Calder probably don't know that I'd been over there, but I knew where Gail lived. Because like I said, Gail was a very private person. I'm sure she never told Calder that we had drinks, because a lot of times, like when we have drinks, she would talk about him, you know, and... What would she say? How he aggravates her not being there, and it pisses her off, and she's just over it. And, you know, it's funny you say that, because Calder said that you and her didn't get along very well. Yeah. No, we, we got along. We get along real good. Really? Yeah. We had our moments because we're so bullheaded and we're so much alike in the office, but we, we got along. Well, my understanding is you call out sick to work a lot, you're late a lot, and you don't do, you don't carry your load. That's the way I understand it. Well, maybe if the computers worked, I could carry my load. Mm -hmm. Did, when was the last time you missed work? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. What happened Thursday? Uh, I, I didn't feel good. I was sick. Stay at home. Mm -hmm. All day. Uh, I believe so. I don't know. You said you got over to Gales at what time? It's probably about six forty-five, seven, somewhere around there. Did she appear to be sick? I mean, she, you could look at her and tell she didn't feel good, but she hadn't felt good all week. You know what I mean? But she was getting ready for work. That's what she said. She said, "I got to, I got to go back here and get ready," and she hauled butt to her bedroom. I don't know what y'all are thinking, but I love Gail. No matter if well, we had our little moments at work or whatever, but I, I love my work and I love Gail a lot. Well, I mean, we're not thinking anything in particular. You know, this is, you know, we have some questions we have to get I know you do, okay? but I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm really upset about all this. Like I told you, we're going to do, we're doing this with everyone, okay? So you're not being just, it's not being focused on you. I okay? know, but I know I was the last person there and... Right, and you know, I mean, you were the last one. Right, I mean, you know, later that day that we ain't found out about. Right. Yeah, that's true. So, like I said, you know, you're not. We're not beating up on on you, and you know, we're we're gonna speak with everyone. So, okay. um, can you give us a few minutes, and uh, we'll be back in here. Okay. Right. You need a microphone call or anything? Well, you got your stuff on me. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Teresa, I appreciate you being patient. Yeah. Just a couple more questions. Um, now, what did you do Saturday? 
Um, I stayed at home. I didn't feel good. All day? Yeah, I was at home did all day. Did you go day. anywhere whatsoever? I don't think I did. You don't think you did? Mm -mm. If I went anywhere, it was just to the store because I, I went to McDonald's and we got some food. And after I ate a hamburger, it made me really sick. I threw up and I laid down. All right, you went to McDonald's? Uh-huh. Which one? On, on Hartley Bridge. Okay. What'd you buy? Just like here, I see. Um, I, I bought a Big Mac for myself and bought the kids hamburgers and stuff. How old are your kids? 17 and 15. You bought Big Mac and what now? I bought the kids some hamburgers. Like, just regular? McDoubles. Oh, okay. All right. Um, around what time was that? Um, probably about one or two. Who was with you? Me and my son. You and your son? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I want to back up just to Friday. Um, after you went there that morning, did you ever go back over to, to Gail's house that day? No, I was at work. You were? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no point. No, I was at work. I went home. It was, uh, me and the kids were at home. We went bowling. We went back home. What time did you leave work? About third. Because Ben was still on a close, and I asked him if it was okay for me to go, and he said, yeah. Okay. Um... Did you see anybody around the neighborhood that day, that morning, when you... Mm -hmm. What was the route that you walked? I, I, I come up the road and went to the front. Because I'm not really that familiar with the street. Yeah, so. I came up the road and went, you know, there's there's like three houses right there real close together. And I went around the front and went to the front door. Because the back door's in a little gate thing. Well, what street was your car on? The street right here. Her house is right here. My car was right here. On this street. And that's the same street as the guy that supposedly sells the yes. drugs. All right. And that's at Holly or wherever it is? That's where your car was parked at? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, what kind of car did Gail drive? Uh, Acura. A silver Acura. You ever drove? Mm hmm You ever been in it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did she ever let anyone drive it? Not that I know of. I've never seen nobody drive it. She did. She was even going to take Ben, the other attorney, to his house uh -huh. one day at lunch instead of just letting him drive her car. But he didn't. He walked home that day. You've never been in the car. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, your fingerprints would not be in the car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what, any any um, special features about her car? Anything that, like, a um, vanity plate on it or... I don't, I really don't know. That. Crack windshield. The yeah. most I see her car is, is when we're at work and it's parked in the parking lot. So I don't. What kind of, did it have like factory uh, rims on it? I think so. I, I, I really haven't paid that much attention to her rims. I don't really pay much attention to people. Was it a nice car? Oh yeah, yeah it's yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. It's a newer car, I believe. Okay. I think her son bought it for her actually is what she told me. Okay. Do you have anything else? I don't know. Just a lot of things that don't make sense to me. Yeah. Um. Is there anything, Tracy, that that you have left out here in this interview today? Uh, because now would be um, now would be the time to let us know. Yeah. I don't care how bad it is. I don't think you know, so. Or anything like that. Um, you know, now would be the time to, to come forward. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, don't you know? If it, because if we find out something on, on the back end. Then it's, it doesn't look good for you. You see what I'm saying? I understand. Okay. So is there anything? I don't think there is. What you mean you don't think? I mean, I, I think I've told you everything. <clears throat>
Do you have male friends? Any male friends? I mean, a couple, but I don't really ever hang out with any male friends. What are their names? Um, I have one friend named Jason Woody. Um, like I said, we don't really ever just hang out, just me and him. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Um, I really don't have any male, male, male friends. Okay. I have friends I see when I go out and stuff, mm -hmm. but none that I really hang right. out with. Okay. All right. And this number here is a good number to get in touch with you, right? Yes, sir. You know what kind of phone Gail had? Uh, she had a little flip phone. You don't know what kind it was? Like mm -hmm. a Verizon or? I have no idea. You know her phone number? Not by heart. Mm -mm. Do you have it? In your, do you have it in your phone? Mm -hmm. Can I see? Yeah. I believe I have her number here. I just got this phone not recent, not long ago, and I might not have put it in here yet. Yeah, it's right there. You ever text message her or anything? Uh, yeah, sometimes I text her if like <coughs> if I'm gonna be late or something, I'll text her and Patsy at the same time and let them know. When was the last time you texted her? Um, it's been a while. I don't even know that I've texted her from that phone. Was well, so like calling in sick Thursday, right? Yeah, but I didn't text her. Who'd you, who'd you tell you you weren't coming to work Thursday? Who'd you talk to? Patsy and, and I left. Uh, called her a message. When was the last time you called Gail's phone? Um, I have no idea. Okay. I don't know. Has it been recently that you called him? No, it probably wouldn't have been recently. Because like I said, we've been so busy lately. We went to work and worked, and we just kind of wanted to get out of there. When you generally call in sick, who do you generally call? I called her, or I'll um, send Patsy a message and let her, so they'll know. Because okay. Calder's not there. Now, did you text Patsy Thursday, or did you call her? I text Patsy Thursday, and okay. I left called her a voicemail. Okay. Sure, do you have anything else? No, right now. Okay. So you. Your apartment number seventeen fourteen. Yes, sir. Is there a B or one two mm -hmm. or something? Anything? Okay, so it's just seventeen fourteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can be reached anytime at this phone number. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. All right. Well, this will conclude for right now. We'll, we'll, I might need to come back and talk to you later. Some okay. more. Uh, all right. Okay. Then we'll take you back to work. No, you gotta walk. Yeah. <laughs> I walk a lot, so that might be all right. Do I go with him? Uh, when you get Thank you for watching Tracy Jones' first interrogation, exclusively available right here in Crime Circus Cult. Just like on Crime Circus, I'm going to keep presenting you exclusives. And if you ever happen to see any elsewhere, I most likely released it first, or had it first, or I can guarantee you it's going to be the highest quality video possible, especially the sound. I take it super serious. Anyways, I'm not going to give you any spoilers because this is not the end. This is going to be continued. If I revealed too much right now, there'd be no point in watching the future videos. And I know you want to watch the future videos because I'm going to be watching them with you, especially during the live chat premieres. Yes, it's me personally typing behind the keyboard. This is a one-man operation running two Crime Circus channels. And this is Crime Circus Colton. This one might be my favorite, to be honest with you. Anyways, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends, family, co-workers, tell your boss, tell your neighbors, tell everybody that'll listen about the Crime Circus cult. And of course, Crime Circus too. 
on both channels. I'm going to be active and constantly giving you new content. This was the series that you, the viewer, requested. Well, you manifested it because now I'm presenting this series. And a couple weeks ago, this series didn't exist, but now it does thanks to you. So I appreciate you. Thank you for requesting it. Make sure bell notifications are turned on because I'm going to be releasing part two of Tracy's interrogation super soon. And I know you want to see it and it's a lot more explosive than this first interrogation because they really heat up the questions because they find out a lot more information to confront Tracy with during the second interrogation. So that's the one you want to see for sure. And if you haven't seen Michael Brett Kelly's interrogation yet, that's right here on this YouTube channel. That's Tracy Jones, 18 year old lover. And Tracy Jones is 38 years old. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. What do you think about that age gap? Is age just a number? Does age matter? How do you feel about 18 year olds dating 38 year olds? Is it different if it's a man and woman? Or a woman and a man? What if the roles were reversed? Is it okay or not okay? I do want to read your opinion. Let me know what you think down below. And until next time, remember to stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.